Hey, what's up YouTube? Uh, sorry I haven't made a video in probably like two weeks. Um, I'm actually going on vacation this Saturday um, coming up. So I've been really uh, kind of just trying to get everything done. Uh, I really haven't even been responding to emails, uh, let alone uh, comments for videos and stuff like that. So it's really been busy, um, but it's going good. And today I just want to make a video. I promised the subscriber I would make it uh, about how my filtration system works, how I filter all these tanks. Uh, how I do water changes, different things like that. So I did want to share, um, you know, I wasn't going to share it first because, you know, it was kind of my, my unique idea. I really didn't want people taking it. But um, now that, you know, now that I got everything established, I feel like I, I got everything to scale. I'm just getting ready to start selling stuff. Um, so I feel like it might be able to benefit you guys a lot. And so that's what I want to talk about first. Um, so basically, I got my helper here, Emma. Hopefully she doesn't poop on the floor. Like last time she was in a video, um, I don't know if you guys watched that last video, but yeah, she just took a poop right on the floor. But anyway, without further ado, uh, I want to break it down. So I have uh, I have all these systems separated. Uh, the divider line is right here. There's uh, eight 40s on this side. There's um, actually there's two, four, yeah, eight. And then there's four on that side plus 12 20s. And um, these are quarantine tanks. Uh, I have 17 quarantine or 72 quarantine tanks. And so these are not uh, uh, linked at all. They're kind of, they're all separate. And then uh, uh, the way it all works is I'm gonna use these for quarantine tanks. And then I'm gonna use this one for like my breeding tanks. Uh, this is, these are all linked together. It's all one system. They all share the same water. And uh, you know, there's a lot of benefits to that and there's a lot of risk too, because if one tank gets sick, uh, they all get sick. So that's why it's really important to have quarantine tanks. But anyway, how my, uh, my filtration system works is, you can see I have these totes up here. Um, I fill up these six totes uh, full RO water. I mix in the GH uh, remineralizer, the KH remineralizer, get it to exactly where I want it. I uh, flip this little valve on, right? It comes out here. It comes down to the tank, it drips in. I got it about like, you know, drip a second, something like that, you know, pretty quick. And then uh, all the over, or all the bad water just overflows out. So. You know, you have to do more water changes, but it's like, you know, it's pretty easy to do. Uh, it really doesn't take me much time to do all the water changes on all these tanks. Um, you know, just the pain is, you know, drilling all these freaking tanks. Trust me, I broke a lot and it was not fun. So that is the biggest thing. And then there's also this problem. Um, you know, every once in a while you get one that leaks and it doesn't start leaking right away. And so as you can see, like, eh, well, you really can't see. Uh, there's like a drip line. I'm gonna stop. There's a drip line going down here where I just need to fix this tank. Um, I haven't got around to it yet, so I just got a rag under there to catch the drips. Hopefully it doesn't ruin the wood or anything, but. So that's how these systems work. And they're all driven by air, and so they all have sponge filters in them. And so, uh, so these are my quarantine tanks, and I have it set up to where there's six different uh, water holding totes. And the reason for that is I could have six different water chemistries, and I also have six forms of control so like if something got into this, like let's say uh, a centipede, a poisonous centipede dropped in there, uh, contaminated the whole tank, I didn't see it, I flipped this valve on, went into all these tanks, uh, it would kill them all because you know the poison, well hopefully it wouldn't kill them all because it's such little amount of water in each tank. Um, but if it did kill them all, it would only kill those tanks and not all the rest of them. So uh, I kind of put in some different checks and balances just to make sure it all works out. And so that's where I'm at on this. And then you got the central filtration, which is how I did this is uh, I plumbed them all together and I'll show you from the side just because it's easier. Um, as you can see down here, I have a pipe going all the way down. It's tapped into and these all fuel the water into them. Um, it gets pumped up from the refugium. It goes up, over, and then it goes down there, goes down there, and it goes up there, it goes in here. And then if you come around back, which it's good to be able to come around back because then you can maintenance them. They're all drilled for overflows. And so every single one of my tanks is drilled. The water's up here, it siphons down in, boom. Goes back down to the refugium. I don't have anything in the refugium, you really don't need anything because I have sponge filters in all the tanks. I have one big sponge filter in there and some plants, so I guess I do have something in there. But that's how this system works. Um, the cons of this system is this system is extremely expensive. Like just to give you an idea, this this uh, this fitting right here is I think $11. And I have, you know, 
24 of them on this system. Uh, the tap up here is like $5. And then uh, to buy the threading for it, if you mess up the threading, it leaks. And uh, so there's a lot of problems with this system. So I have a lot of refining to do on the next version of it. But um, you can see now I'm in bum mode. I don't even have a shirt on. Whoops. <laughs> I have a sweatshirt on, so that kind of counts. But you know, when, uh, when you're working at your own business, you can do whatever you want. Now, look, now I'm self-conscious because you see reflections everywhere. But anyway, sorry to get off track. Um, that's just basically how the, the system works. Uh, I'm sure there's going to be a ton of questions. I'm going on vacation, so I won't be able to answer any of your questions. Uh, unless you email me, I'll probably answer emails on vacation. I, I'm kind of debating on whether to get, disconnect or not, just to like get, get away, get stress-free, and I really just enjoy time off. And then I'll still upload some videos. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make some before I leave and just schedule them to upload while I'm gone. So you guys will have some, uh, some videos to look at. And uh, let's end on my favorite note. I love snowballs. Oh, they're my, by far my favorite shrimp, I don't know why. It, with the exception of Royal Blues because Royal Blues will always be my favorite. Um, but yeah, that's that. If you guys have questions, send me an email. My email is always down below in the description. If not, go to my info tab on the YouTube channel. You can find me there. Um, man, hey guys, seriously, make it a great week. I uh, hope you guys are doing some awesome things with the shrimp. Hopefully you're enjoying uh, the, the rainy weather we've been having or the drought we've been having on the other side of the country. Uh, either way, hope you're having fun. So anyway, guys, hope you, hopefully you enjoyed that, and I will talk to you guys soon. Later.